What is going on, guys? It's Bus TV Chan. I'm glad to present to you a couple of model trains that I had to show you today. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I hope everybody else is doing very good today. I um, got a chance to see some of the new 20018. Some of the 20,000 series buses, I guess 20,000. We've got 20,000 buses in Jersey now. Congratulations. I mean, not congratulations, but. Okay, so here's the thing. I uh, went to Piscataway to find these. Very nice. And I got an ALP as well. But I was assured that this was going to run on uh, DC. And uh, it's not the first time I had a problem with Atlas not a Atlas DCC engines running on DCC. I mean, Atlas DCC engines running on DC. As you can see, I have two uh, Kato uh, SKs, the new versions of their power packs. I had old ones. I had old Kato track. Family, my family threw out all my stuff. It's a long story, but uh, that's a stack of Atlas locomotives that don't work on DC. That I guess they're supposed to, but they're not compatible with this, I guess. Uh, who knows? Long story short, I've got some stuff I do want to show you for my fans from New Jersey. I can't use this engine because it won't work right now, but if you really want to know about it, I'll show you next time. So I bought that, and uh, the guys, they're, they're, they're closed on uh, today's... Um, Today's Saturday. I, I was there while they were closing up and had a great conversation with the guys over there in Piscataway. Very great shop. Uh, they got open tomorrow on Sundays and I think they're closing up Monday. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to, why, but so Tuesday I'm going to bring it back and we're going to try to get everything situated. I, I kind of didn't want to do the DCC thing. I know it's 2020, but uh, I'm doing a small layout. This isn't the layout, it's just the table. I got everything set up on, as you can see. I got. A lot of engines over there. If you guys are interested in seeing what engines, I got engines, cases, boxes of engines because I've been doing end scale for quite some time now. Some of you guys who've been following me, you might know. Um, but let's cut to the chase. Uh, today, I wanted to show you my New Jersey Transit rolling stock and the engine that could not, if you will. So uh, I'm going to run it with this uh, Amtrak uh, locomotive number 161. And we'll hook it up and I'll show you. Um, the problem is I got a constant set up here. It doesn't have a bathroom. So this uh, rolling stock here does have a toilet in it. So we're going to go ahead and hook up to that. Uh, and then hook up to the rest of the consist. So I am just going to push this back manual a little bit. Just so we can connect. So I can just hopefully we connect without touching anything. Even though we touched anything, something. Anyway. Um, Alright so. What I'll do is I will, I'm going to move, this is Kato Unitrack. Okay, so I changed the uh, switch over so that this locomotive can have power now. Oh, um, I, I didn't mean to make that Amtrak train go faster, but I must have did that by accident. Okay, nope, so we want to go the other way. We'll switch it up. I'm thinking about going DCC. Okay, so hopefully we grabbed it. Let's find out if we grabbed it. Oh, we didn't grab it. So let me just manually make sure that the couplers... Hold on one second, guys. Alright, so we got it. I'm not sure why we're burning out and doing burnouts. Let me fix that. Hold on. Okay. We were derailed a little bit, so I fixed that. So we're going to go ahead and pull forward a little bit. Honestly, I really would. I want to. If you guys really want to. If you guys are into trains. I'm in the trains a little bit. I'm in the buses. But you can't really build a model D4500. What? What? Yeah, you can't really build a model D4500. Port Authority bus layout. I guess you could if you're... I'm dedicated, but... That's... I'm... Mm, we'll leave that for another video. I, I kind of... 
that's just very tough to do. You guys know what I'm saying. So we got a toilet, and the reason you know we got a toilet here is because there's no window right here. As you can see on the rest of the consist, we have toilets here. So now we have a bathroom car that we're bringing to the rest of the consist. We're going to back up the bathroom car. I got to go ahead and switch the, uh, the, the track is switched over. So we'll back up to the, uh, to the, the bathroom car over to the, uh, rest of the consist. Hopefully we'll connect. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put it in switch direction and see if we got... Oh, no, we don't. We don't. So, the uh, conductor's telling us to back in a little bit harder. If, oh, we slammed that. So, we're going to go ahead and try to go forward now. Ah. All right. Sometimes things don't go as planned, you know what I mean? We got the wrong locomotive. We can't even connect to nothing today. We're having a blast, huh? Look at this. Come on. Just a couple already. Let's figure out what the problem is here. Alright, we're coupled up and ready to go. We'll do a couple of rounds and I'm going to show you the consist. Unfortunately, I'm upset. I couldn't show you um, the ALP at this time. This thing is beautiful. This is the reason why I drove all the way to Piscataway. And it had some great sounds. And I've had DCC stuff with sound work great on my dc layout but not atlas atlas don't want it they got new jersey transit colors going on there as you can see here and uh i can't wait to get this thing to work and you know what if i gotta upgrade the dcc just to have new jersey transit i kind of want to have i have a, i'll have one dcc line but a lot of my stuff is dc and i don't want to give up my collection if you guys are interested in seeing the rest of my collection, hit me up in the comments and I'll show you the rest of what I got going on. But for now, let's make sure this track is set up right. We got, we're going to enter the main line right now. We're on the siding. And uh, let's get it going. Let's see what happens. So we got Amtrak 161 for New Jersey Transit. And these cars do have lights inside of them. As you can see, there's people inside there. Well, you probably can't see now, but once we get up to speed, you're going to be able to see it. Before we get up to speed, I want to go ahead and change the track over to the main line. I just moved the track over to the main line, as you can see there. We have another siding all the way down here. We'll go ahead and make sure that's on the main line. And that way, when it comes back around, it's going to be set up properly. Now, the more power you give to the engine, the uh, the brighter li the brighter the lights are going to be. Wow, man, that's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Look at these engines. I wish I had the ALP working. You won't be able to see the lights inside the ca cab too good. Um, in a second, I'll turn the lights off in my establishment where I'm at right now, so that you can be able to see the lights a little bit better. I got five cars right now, so stand by just a second. I'm gonna. I'm going to tell you I'm going to be right back, but it's not like you have to wait like 30 seconds or anything. I'll be right back. All right, so now we got a New Jersey Transit train on the turnpike that's got to deliver some shit real fast, real quick. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see the lights because um, if you give it a lot of power for the lights to show, the thing wants to go like 96 on the turnpike. But you can see some lighting going on there. You can see that there's people having their feet on the chairs in front of them and stuff like that and uh you know it's just i want kind of need more cars and i need i can't i'm just very happy that new jersey transit i mean not new jersey transit that n scale people finally have some new jersey transit stuff to mess with because um it's been a long time and we got Comet cars coming out for N scale. HO scale, you guys had that stuff for a long time, but people like me who've been doing N scale for many years, we don't have many choices for uh, for New Jersey Transit, and that's where I'm from. So 
I'm gonna get that locomotive working for you guys. You guys keep in touch, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully, you enjoyed checking out my uh, couple cars I got. If you want to see some more end scale stuff, let me know. I'm more than happy to show you what else I got. There's some lighting going on there. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm pretty happy that there's lights in those cars like that. Those are my first cars that came stock with lights inside of them like that. And I'll, I'll pay the money for it because this is beautiful. And uh, part of me is upset for getting the DCC one. I should have just got the DC regular one. I would have been having fun with the ALP right now with the real consist that it's supposed to be. But uh, I kind of... I've had sounds on my DC layout before and it kind of makes you feel good to have some sounds, you know, even though you can't control them. What do you guys think? Should I upgrade to DCC if you guys are train enthusiasts? Or should I trade it in for a DC if it don't work? The, the, the guys I got this from are so friendly that they offered to loan me a DC power pack that would be definitely compatible with this. And we'll see in a couple days. They're not, they're not open for a couple days. So I'm going to go down there and we're going to figure everything out. And if you're interested, stay tuned. And uh, if you guys are bus fanatics, I'm... Oh, oh, I just derailed it. Uh, oh, we derailed it. We lost one. Nope, my fault. Shut everything down. Oop. Uh. Okay, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bus TV Chan. I don't usually do commentary videos. I don't know if this is going to stay up here, but... Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you like this video, like it. I've got plenty. I have a lot of N-Scale stuff going on. So if you guys are interested, please let me know. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.